A common question I heard last year when Elgato released the prompter was, well, does it do voice controlled scrolling? It didn't then, but it does now. And today we're gonna look at the new voice activated script control, including a live demonstration so that you can see what I can see. Now, I don't normally use a full script for my videos, and it's probably noticeable, but I am making an exception today and I'm using a script for the majority of this video. I'll also show you how I prefer to use the prompter software, at least for right now. Now, before we dive in, I want to make it clear, you can use other script reading apps with Elgato's prompter. You don't have to use the Camera Hub software if you don't want to. In fact, let me know in the comments if you'd like a future video where I compare different script reading software options. But today is about the prompter's Camera Hub voice sync option. And I have to admit upfront, I have had a bias against voice controlled scrolling from past experiences with other apps. I'll explain a little bit more about that during the live demo, but let's get into the software. So I have got Camera Hub open here on my computer and I've got my script. So we wanna make sure that we first of all have the most up-to-date version of the software. You can click in the top right corner on the gear to make sure that you check for updates and make sure you're up-to-date so you have the new option. Now we wanna make sure that we are on the text setting. So we've got display and text, and then this is where you have your scripts. And you can add multiple scripts. If I wanna add a new one, I can just click new. We've got here, and I'll just say test two, and click add. Now we have a clean slate, you can add your script. And if you're looking at this list of scripts and you're thinking, hmm, Kat, I really thought you might have a few more scripts in there. I did, and I'll talk a little bit more about what happened during my wish list. But let's go back to the scripts. And when you have your script, you have the different sections and you can toggle between the different sections. And let's go to this part where we wanna make for sure that we set up the appearance of our text. So here in the sidebar, we can open appearance. This is where you want to adjust how it looks directly in front of you on the prompter screen and we are gonna choose our font, the font size, and our margins. Now in this case, with the margins, uh, let's actually show you a live view. So let's go here. This is a live view of my prompter screen. So what I see in front of me is what you now have on screen, and this is a live feed here. You can see I've chosen smaller print, it's about 18 font, and I have really wide margins, meaning I want to have that text centered directly in front of my camera. Now, I highly recommend that you use wide margins that squeeze the text into the middle so that you avoid your eyes scanning from one side of the screen to the other. So if I look from one edge to the other edge, my eyes are actually having to travel pretty far on either side of the camera, and it makes it really obvious that you are reading from a teleprompter. So you can adjust these both in the app here, so I can adjust these in the setting settings, but I can also adjust these using the Stream Deck. So here's actually a live view of the Stream Deck, and I know it's not the best angle and you can't see all the details, but I can adjust appearance like font size. I could switch to a specific size that's much larger or go back to smaller. I can also adjust the brightness. I can adjust things. I have the dials, you can do opacity. You can do these with keys too, but I find the dials are really nice. So I do highly recommend Stream Deck Plus if you use the prompter a lot. I also have some controls like jumping to the top of the script, play and stop, and also advancing between sections. And then also a fine control here. And this is actually on the times if you've seen it move, like if I move it here, this is just me manually dialing these. So all of those appearances can be done in the side. And I have jumped ahead of myself. So let's get into scrolling, okay? So there are two options for scrolling. Let's close the appearance tab and open our scrolling tab. And we can see constant, and that's just choosing a set speed for our script. And you just find and practice and adjust until you find the speed that works really well for you, your cadence and how you speak. But today's video is about the second option, voice sync. So voice sync, you will be able to have your voice control the script. But the very first time that you set this up, you're going to be asked for permission. So I have a screenshot here of what it looks like, at least on a Mac. And you need to make sure Elgato Voice Sync actually has permission in order to, in order for the mic to listen to your voice. 
So in order to start using the voice sync, you are going to pick the microphone you want. So if you have more than one, make sure you're on the correct microphone. And then at the bottom of your text, you can press play. It will switch from inactive to getting ready to active, and that will be visible on the top right corner. Also, if you have controls on Stream Deck, you can press it there. So let's take a look at the screen. Now that I've got voice sync enabled or toggled, you can see now in the top corner, it says inactive. It didn't say that before because I was on constant. Now I'm on voice sync. This will switch. When I press play, it will go from inactive, getting ready, and then active. And let's catch up to where we are. So we are going to do a little demonstration. So that's manual here, but we're going to press play and actually get ready. So I'm going to go to the next section. Here we are. Let's switch my camera. Now you can start reading your script and your voice to control the speed of the scrolling. Now, since I have highlight enabled, the words I've spoken will shade out after I've said them. After I've said them. The main benefit of using your voice to scroll is that you stay in control. If you want to take a pause, it will pause. And if you want to jump ahead, you can simply skip over a section and keep going. It will follow your lead based on what you say. In the past, my experience with voice activated scrolling was mixed. If I use the same phrase more than once, I noticed it would sometimes jump to another part of the script where I say the same words. So far with this app, I've repeated the same terms a few times and it has not been a problem. However, after some testing, I've noticed a quirk when I get to the bottom section of text. Sometimes the last line or the last few words aren't recognized. They don't shade out and the scroll stops. And since the gap to the next section is quite large and I use wide margins, I can't see the next line. That means I can't even jump ahead using my voice because I don't know what's next. This doesn't happen every time and I'm hoping it will improve. But until then, if I'm using the voice sync, I create much longer sections where I have more control over the spacing and I have fewer sections in a script. This seems to work better for me since the quirk only happens at the end of a section. However, my current preference is to control the script manually using the Stream Deck. Also, I typically only script my intro and then I use bullet points for the rest of the video. So with the Stream Deck controls, I can use the dial to scroll at my own pace and then use the forward and back controls to move between sections. For example, sharing my wish list instead of scripting my wish list, I've got bullet points. I've got bullet points. All right, we're gonna pause. It now says inactive. And let's, let's talk about my wish list. And as you can see, the very first thing on this list is consistent voice tracking. And this is because of what you just witnessed. Sometimes it does not go to the next section. It doesn't hear those last few words. And to me, well, that's extremely frustrating. If this was, I mean, I'm doing a live demo, so I am not going to edit that out. But if that was happening regularly, that would mean a lot more editing on my end. Now you can do what I did right now, which is, Use voice sync and if it pauses at the end, I just press next chapter. Now I'm using my stream deck. If you have the software, you can use the software. And I believe there are options for hotkeys, but I'm really hoping that this improves and I'm not sure if other people are experiencing this the same way I am. Losing scripts with a crash. So I had about four or five other scripts that were already loaded into the software and including the last video that I did, I had an intro scripted and then just bullet points for the rest of the video. When I was putting together that video, my studio update, I noticed that when I was using my stream deck and I was toggling between display mode and text mode with the stream deck, camera hub crashed <laughs> and I lost the active script. When I reopened the software, all of the old scripts were there. I just lost the one that I was making and I already had it. I, I wrote it outside of Camera Hub, and so I was able to re-import it, but I did lose some changes that I made directly in the app. So I highly, highly recommend always write the scripts and save a copy of your script 
outside of Camera Hub, just don't, just, you could lose it. Just, just saying. Now, the awkward thing is that as I was <laughs> preparing for this video, uh, it crashed again when I was, same kind of situation. It seems that when I was toggling between display and text, something happened and it just, it quit on me. But this time I lost all the old scripts, but not the active script. So that's on my wish list. Getting ready forever. So I did notice when I was kind of rehearsing and setting up this video that there was a situation where I pressed play and it just said getting ready in the top right corner and it didn't change. I had to actually quit the program and reopen it. That hasn't happened since. So crossing my fingers. <laughs> I'm calling this ghost scrolling. I don't know if I'd actually call it that, but this is when I pause. It says inactive in the top corner, but it's actually still listening to my voice and it's still scrolling, which is not ideal. And I don't know why that happens. It's, it's inconsistent and it's happened, I think about three times for me. The other wish list is setting up the mic. So I, it doesn't always remember my mic. And so sometimes when I reopen the camera hub, it will, it'll set to my default, my built-in microphone, and then I have to go and reset it, but it doesn't always happen. <laughs> and then finally on my wish list, I really want to be able to adjust the margins between the sections on the prompter screen. Like even right now, if you can see the prompter screen, this is a pretty big gap in between those. Maybe for someone who likes to take a really long pause between your sections, great, but this is more pronounced because of voice sync. I can't see the next section, so I can't even start saying it. And yes, I could make my margins taller, but then I'm looking at the bottom of the screen in order to see what's next. And so I wish I could manually or just adjust those. You can adjust line spacing, but then it also makes all your text tighter together. And so I just, I think there should be margin control in between sections, or I think they call them chapters. So that is my wish list for what I would love to see in the future when it comes to the camera hub and the software. Now, despite the frustrations I have shared with you, I am excited to have this option. And I know that Elgato will continue to improve this software. Having the ability to control your script with your voice, it is a huge advantage. It means you're not scrambling to pause or backtrack when you need to stop and you're using the constant scroll. It also eases the pressure that can happen when you have a set speed because it can feel stressful to sort of keep up with your script. Now, I'd love to hear what you think. If you have tried the voice sync with the prompter, share in the comments and let me know, are you experiencing the quirk that I am, <laughs> what you just witnessed? Now, regardless of what you prefer for your scripts, this is just one more option that will help you to create more professional, engaging, and seamless virtual presentations.